The design parameters for a body revolution component control only the leading edge diameter and then the angle that a straight line between the leading edge and the trailing edge makes. So if you're wondering how to set the length of this component, that's all controlled in your cross section. So depending on the cross section type, you'll use either cord or you'll use width. Because remember, we're looking at the cross section from a side view here and it's going around. So we'll demonstrate that a bit more when we talk about cross sections, but for right now, let's focus on the design parameters that we have. By increasing or decreasing the diameter, we're going to increase or decrease the diameter of this leading edge circle that's formed by our feature line. And the angle, again, is just the angle that a straight line would make between the leading edge and the trailing edge. So a positive angle is going to decrease your exit area. A negative angle is going to increase it relative to this leading edge. So let's give this maybe a little bit of positive angle and a bit of diameter. And note that as we're moving this around, your inlet area, your exit area, and your minimum area are all being computed on the fly. Now the minimum area is being computed by VSP and it's also telling you the W location of that minimum area. So in this case, we're in the neighborhood of 25% in W, right about here, and that is about 0.31 square length units. So if you need to know what your throat area is and where it happens to occur, those two parameters are going to be computed for you and can be pulled upon and then you simply just have to set that up so that it scales to whatever length your component has to be. Now, you can alter how these are computed and what values come out because you're not limited to necessarily say a four series airfoil or you know what have you. You can even go to the modified tab as we discussed before and you can give it a blunt leading edge or blunt trailing edge. That's going to change your minimum area and the location of the inlet at the leading edge and the trailing edge. And we'll go over a bit more about how that behaves next. If we go to the modified tab and for example, let's adjust the closure in upper on the leading edge and give this some thickness. Okay. Now note, we didn't really change the inside at all. We're just pushing it outside. But if we come back to the design, notice that the inlet area has increased and these others have stayed pretty much the same. And that's because it's computing the diameter of this middle leading edge feature line. And it doesn't matter if you skew lower or skew upper, it's going to use that line. The only time that the inlet area will stay the same is if you skew both, and then this top and bottom cap feature line are both equally spaced off this middle. Now, something to note, if we come to modify here, and go to skew lower instead. Notice how this area back in the throat is actually quite a bit smaller than it used to be. If we go to design, note now that our inlet area is based on this leading edge line, but note our minimum area here is actually about right there now. So our W location has come quite a bit further forward and it's a lot smaller. So VSP is still computing the throat area and the location of the throat area and all this stuff on the fly, but it all depends on how you set up that blunt surface, okay? So just be aware that that behavior exists. If you're going to do it, remember that it's there so that you understand what it is that VSP is trying to tell you.